Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Phil, also known as Machine Delusions, and today I'm going to walk through my Polaroid comping animate diff workflow. Um, it looks complicated, they always do, but it's pretty simple. Um, a lot of stuff going on here. First, you're going to drop in your base image. Um, next to that, we have our image with selected colors all varying in as far apart as you possibly can get them in terms of difference um, and why that's important is right under it we are using those rgb values to pull a mask from each color and uh, that's kind of just an efficient way that i found to do it instead of having in this case nine masks we only need one picture and we can extract nine from that picture nine masks from that picture so this section all here uh, illustrated in yellow is your rgb mask selecting if you're going to make a different composition in this case i built this book for nine so it's very designed for this asset but if you wanted to tear this book apart um, you would change those RGB values here to extract those masks. And those masks are illustrated at the bottom here. If I just hit play really quick. Please. <laughs> Maybe, what should I do? I'll change one value. Aha. Uh -huh. So they're not populating here at the bottom here, but you the masks will populate so you can see um, if your parameters are working correctly. To the right of all of that, we have, let me cancel this, computer's lagging. To the right of that, we have the efficient loader. Um, I'm using my Photon LCM model, link in the description. Uh, amazing amazing model and the reason why i'm using this one is because it represents the uh, ip adapter images the most pure and undistorted out of all the models in my opinion um, so we have that um, as you see here negative prompts don't work with a cfg of one when you're using my photon model um, that is true uh, if you want to utilize the full extent of LCM, you've got to use a CFG of one. My, uh, my model is dialed to produce clean results at a CFG of one. Um, these right here are the master settings for all the case samplers. So you can see there's no variables here on the case samplers. This controls all nine, all nine multicolored case samplers you see here at the top. This is where you would control your latent size. So in this case, we're rendering quite small videos, 320 by 320 to begin with. Underneath the master um, K sampler settings, we have a high res fix master settings. Um, so we have, you know, denoise, upscale percent by, in this case, 50% larger, high res steps, and the type of... Um, in, uh, upscaling method. I left the iterations on the actual high res fix nodes themselves. So if you want to use high res fix, one loop, two loops, three loops, um, however you want that, zero is off, obviously. Then we have our animate diff using uh, the animate diff LCM, also link in the description. That it's also on my civet page, so you can check that out and download all the assets. And then moving on, we have underneath the high res fixes, we have all the IP adapters and uh, all the settings are set to whatever you think, but using it at uh, a value of, of one produces clean results. The reason I built it this way is because um, I really didn't want to bring any attention towards prompting. I wanted this to be a fun toy to play with and not so much uh, I'm going to type a paragraph and try to get something good. So the way it works is you basically drop a photo in here and you hit go and you get a pretty good representation if you see here this photo to this flower these flowers to that flower pretty accurate and i would say it's like in the 80 to 90 percent range of um uh comparability of likeness 
And that's how I wanted to design this thing. So prompting doesn't matter as much as you think, especially when the IP adapters are turned up high. Um, this whole section here, you don't have to worry about it. It's basically all the masking and comping. And then we have a rife frame interpolation that brings us up to uh, 30 FPS here. So that's about it. Um, really, really simple book. Oh, and one last thing. I also integrated a black and white toggle switch. So because our photo here of these Polaroid pictures are black and white, um, I figured it would be a nice little additive to have the ability to toggle black and white for the entire book. So if I hit Q, we're going to go through here. And because I've already rendered all these videos, it'll be quite quick. And it turns them all black and white. And we can see all the compositioning is happening right now. Doing some frame interpolation. And then finally, the video is rendered in the output at 30 FPS. So I believe we are rendering at a 10 FPS. Um, and then we're interpolating two frames in the middle. And this is the final effect. Um, your, your video is black and white. <clears throat> so I definitely recommend playing around, dropping whatever photos you want in here. People, landscapes, subjects. Um, once again, my Photon LCM model distillation is really, really good at representing the IP adapters accurately. And uh, yeah, so that's all for now. And uh, join you in the next one.